Here we go. Beef brisket time. We're going to use our smoker and smoke a brisket. This is a prime beef brisket from Costco. And I actually just got this a couple days ago. It was only uh, just under $5 a pound. 14 pound brisket. Just so everyone knows, cook it at 225. Pretty simple for about a pound and a half per hour. So roughly this should take about 14 hours to do. I'm gonna cut it open, do some trimming right along here. I'll show you that in a bit. And then um, really relatively easy to do. All right, we're going. So first thing is remove it from the packaging. So some people do a dry rub on this overnight. What you can do is uh, search online, find a dry rub, or you can do a wet rub, which calls to put like, um, mustard on it. You can do that. Um, I typically don't on um, the brisket. I don't do any sort of rub, and the rub usually is there for 24 hours or overnight. Um, like I said, I don't normally do it just because um, I like the way the, uh, the meat tastes and also I like to get the smoke flavor in there. So you can tell here we got a little bit of fat right in here so I'm going to take and try to trim some of this fat off. Should be going to Hunter. <laughs> We're not giving raw fat to Hunter. Uh, we want to leave a little bit because obviously um, you need that for the slow roasting of the meat, slow cooking. Now, since we are in Michigan, tonight's supposed to get pretty cold, I think down to zero for some reason. So this might go a little bit quicker in the smoker. And that's why we have a thermometer, which I'll show you what to do next after I flip this guy over. Okay. Pull that off. Ew. I know, did you see that? Did it spill? Yeah, on my leg. <laughs> Not good. Pull that up in a little bit. So you can see all the fat here. Um, again, try to trim a little bit off. Usually these are pretty good from Costco. So I don't trim off too much because the fat is um, oh. what's good. I was, I was just videotaping. <laughs> you were videotaping the ground. So the fat is what uh, keeps everything moist as you're cooking it for an extended period of time. And the big thing too with the thermometer is you gotta kinda watch the temperature. Once you hit 165, you pull this thing off and you uh, up. you put it in tin foil, wrap it in tin foil. So, so hit um, what? You're gonna be up all night? Uh, I'll be checking it through the middle of the night, yep. Alright, so now the next step is to put the thermometer in. Yeah, the thermometer, what I tend to do is I'll put it through the thickest portion of the meat, like that. And that's it. Go. All right, so the next step after we got this in, the thickest part of the meat, we'll take it and put it in the master belt, which we already got set up to go. Okay, here we go. So we already have this preheated 225 in the master belt. I got this partially filled with water. And then now we're gonna slide this guy in. We're gonna put it in the middle. Is that gonna fit? It will barely fit. So we're gonna put it on the middle rack. Oh, come on, buddy. There we go. And we'll slide her in, and that's it. It's a big cut of meat. It's gonna be a tight fit. And it is what it is. So we'll see how this goes. Close, oh, you know one thing that we did forget to do here? Is chips. Fill up uh, chips. And this is 
is what we're using. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Got it. So I have not soaked these beforehand. And we are doing this in the garage just because it's going to get so cold tonight. And it's already freezing. It's already cold. We were surprised to see the temperature for tonight to get as cold as it is. And this time of year. So we'll put that in. This guy. And goodbye. Oh wait. Ugh. All right. So since we did open it, so I said it. We've got 21 hours, 25 minutes. If you take a look here, the temperature 165. It's 165 because I kept this thing open. So it's going to heat up and get up to 225 here shortly. So that's it. Eight hours in. 167. I'm a little leery of that temperature. So I'm going to reset the thermometer a little bit. And then we'll see. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's a little dark. Here we go, everybody. We're 10 hours in. Not too shabby looking. So now we're going to uh, wrap this guy in tin foil here. And we are going to then monitor the temperature until we see 205. Once we hit 205, we'll pull it out. We'll throw it in a cooler with uh, some beach towels. And then let it rest until everyone comes over for some brisket so being 14 pounds should take 21 hours but I got a feeling that I'm gonna probably be done in probably 19 hours again just because it's colder outside so the electric smoker is working a little bit more just to try to maintain that temperature we ready yeah. Yeah, there we go. We left resting for three hours. This uh, got done a little bit earlier. Yeah, I wrapped it pretty good because it's right about leaking. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, we kept it in the cooler wrapped in beach towels. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah. Take a look. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, you did a good job. Mm -hmm. It's easy, set it and forget it. And wake up every couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody. So you're gonna see some pictures here. I'm gonna briefly talk about this brisket. I ate it at 225. It did cook a lot less in time due to the cold weather that we had that night. And so I had to pull it about four hours before we had everyone over for the Super Bowl. And I, by throwing it in the cooler, it maintained its temperature for that period of time. So definitely recommend doing that. Put some buffer in when you're cooking a brisket or a large piece of meat to throw it in a cooler. It will stay the temperature that, it, uh, that you need it at and it'll still turn out really good. Hope you enjoyed the video and take care. Thanks for watching.